Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It would seem that there's a rumor around the uh, boards that Star Wars Daisy Ridley's Ray movie gets a script title, script update, and it's a new beginning. Um, and is that really a subtitle this article is saying from comicbookmovie.com? Shout out to everyone listening on Spotify and iTunes. So we know that we've had a lot of strikes going on in Hollywood. That's definitely, you know, delayed a lot of projects, right? So when it comes to the three Star Wars movies announced in London this past April, all signs point to the Daisy Ridley-led sequel to the sequels up first for Lucasfilm. And I, personally, this is a surprise because I thought it would be Dave Filoni's movie, which would come after The Mandalorian. So according to Star Wars News Network, via sffgazette.com. The hope now is Stephen Knight will have finished his latest draft of the screenplay by the end of this month, Thanksgiving. So by Christmas, the script should be in the hands of Lucasfilm executives, which in my opinion means that we could get the Ray movie probably a couple years after that. So sometime in 2026, it could be like the second quarter or third quarter or uh, fourth, you know, maybe even Christmas time, which would make sense. The site casts doubt on cameras rolling in London as soon as next April and suggests an August September start date now seems more so if they get the script let's say in a month then they'll start filming yeah I suppose that makes sense they need like a good eight months nine months to get everything prepared and ready and locations and props and sets and all that jazz so you know they got all the money in the world so they could definitely make that all happen within that time now about that title recently there have been rumblings online it could be called star wars a new beginning we know many of you scoffed at such a generic sounding subtitle but the site explains that lucasfilm hasn't decided on a title for the film yet and is more focused on getting the actual story right for now which look baby steps that's a leap in the right direction you know they they didn't really have that <laughs> in plan in in the first round of the sequel trilogy you know they story eh, don't even worry about it just slap star wars on the title it's all good you know but how much story can you have after the sequel trilogy and look i, kn I know there are a lot of fans here of this channel and of star wars that enjoy the sequel trilogy. And by no way am I saying that you're not a true Star Wars fan because you like the sequels. And in no way am I saying that I wish the sequels would disappear purely for my sake. For my sake, yeah, I wish they would disappear. But there's a lot of other people who enjoy them. I don't want to cause people harm. I don't even have that power to make them disappear. But in my mind, they don't exist as canon. They're just uh, whatever. So there isn't much they could do to fix it. What I'm getting at here is that I'm glad they're focusing on story, but what story? What's the story going forwards? I mean, you, you killed everyone off, and not even in a good way, you kind of made the losers. Han Solo a loser, Luke Skywalker a loser. I mean, Mark Hamill himself even said, called it Jake Skywalker. So it's like, wh where are we going with these characters now? You know, we, we get to focus on Rey, Rey Palpatine, who wasn't even supposed to be a Palpatine until the end of Rise of Skywalker, where they kind of just switched it up on her, and Daisy Ridley herself said she didn't know who Rey was supposed to be. There was, she was supposed to be a Kenobi, then she was supposed to be a nobody, then now she's a Palpatine all of a sudden. So it's, I don't know, you know, how much story can you have after all that? After all that uh, jamboree that happened in the sequels. So I'm gonna watch it like you guys and I'll definitely have my take on it. And look, if it's good, I hope it is. And if it's not, I'll you know me, you know, how honest I'm gonna be about everything and how I feel. However, they don't think a new beginning is totally out of the question, so it may well have been written on a whiteboard somewhere in Lucasfilm's headquarters. As for the rest of the studio's Star Wars plans, James Mangold has been hired by the studio to tell the story of the first Jedi thousands of years in the past, which I'm looking forward to. I don't know how much he'll deviate from the original story of, you know, uh, the Thoyor and Tython and this and that, and maybe he'll create his own crap. I don't know, but, you know, the ricotta, but um, we'll see what happens with that, you know? Another movie, this time from Dave Filoni, takes place in the same timeline as The Mandalorian for a crossover event which is expected to put Grand Admiral Thrawn front and center. Then there's The Ray Project, a movie taking us back, which is weird because I figured, like, we would get maybe Filoni's movie first or we would get James Mangold's movie first, but I guess they want to go with The Ray Project, potentially, and this is all just a rumor, so we don't really know for sure. Then there's this Ray Project, a movie taking us back to the sequel trilogy for a story set 15 years after the events of The Rise of Skywalker. Miss Marvel director Charmaine Obeid Chinoy will be at the helm, and as noted, Ridley will reprise her role as Ray, now a Jedi Master looking to create a new Jedi Order while attempting to combat the dark forces that rise up to stop her. So what are the dark forces going to be? Palpatine again returning? Could it be, you know, Sith cultists or uh, loyalists to Palpatine? It's very possible. Could it be Kylo Ren being resurrected from the dead by the Sith cultists? 
who were loyal to Palpatine. That's also very possible. It's going to be someone else that we don't know about. Everything's possible at this point, even Palpatine returning for the 11th time. I don't really know what to think of it going forwards. The article says, can it fix the sequel trilogy and will fans and regular moviegoers alike even want to return to this period after what happened back in 2019? Personally, no. But considering, you know, I need to have a view on everything and the take on everything, then yeah, I'm going to watch this. And look, if it's great, you guys know me. I'm always going to be honest about it. And I'm not here to ever get hate clicks. I just, or, or shill clicks. I'm just giving my view, man. I don't get anything free from anybody. I pay my way. I paid my dues. And uh, I'm as real as it gets with you guys. I don't need to sell you guys anything or any crap like that. So, you know what? My word is my word and that's how I feel about it. So if it's going to be good, look, I'll praise it, man. If it's going to be dope. Cool. Great. I hope it is. And if it's not, well, may the Lord have mercy on its soul, because I'm going to definitely go in. Only time will tell, though we'd be lying to say we're not intrigued. We are currently expected to have this Star Wars movie released in theaters on May 22nd, 2026, though they that may well change. May 22, 2026. It's an interesting date. We'll see what happens with that and how they got that date. But look, you know, these rumors sometimes are valid. They are real. They can be real and they may come from people on the inside. But things always change in production. They change up until the last day, to the last second. So, you know, if it's if we're this far out, man, uh, who knows? I don't even know if that's going to be the title. It sounds something corny that they would do. Kathleen would be like, let's call it a new beginning. Yeah, let's let's do that. You know, because a new hope wasn't good enough. Uh, we got a new beginning now. Because, uh, you know, you ended the chapter of the Skywalkers so poetically uh, that and respectfully that, you know, we, we need a new beginning. How about a new beginning with Star Wars? That would be what I want. A new beginning maybe with Lucasfilm would be nice. Maybe a new beginning in total in general where we go back to what George established as Star Wars and maybe create some stuff that's housed in there would be nice and, and we could go on from there but th this seems more like a new disaster in my opinion but hey look i'm not going to uh, judge it before it comes out you can only judge it on its uh, its last performance on its last project you're only as good as your last sale they say or your last book or whatever last video <laughs> don't judge me on my last video oh man okay let me know what you guys think about this i hope you have a great day love you very much thanks for watching today's video catch you later